Website builders have come a long way. And at this point, there is a perfect solution for any situation. But with that, there's also an overwhelming amount of choice out there. And making the wrong choice can waste a ton of time, a ton of money, and also sacrifice your sanity. And we don't want any of that to happen to you. So we've done the heavy lifting in this video. We've compiled our list of our top five favorite and best website builder options so that you can make the right choice for your situation from the very beginning. We're gonna walk through each option in our list, outline the pros, the cons, as well as who they're best fit for. So we're gonna save you time, save you money, allow you to keep your sanity and help you find your dream website builder. So let's get right into it. If at any point you want a deeper dive into any of the options in our list, we've also made more extensive reviews and they're linked down below. And if you wanna try out any of the options from our list, there are links to free trials of all of them in the description box down below. The first option in our list is Wix. And if you've done any research into website builders, you've definitely heard of them. And it's for good reason, they're a fantastic option. So Wix is a templated website builder, but unlike a lot of the other options that you'll see out there, it's an unstructured editor. So what this means is that you can drag and drop any element on your website to any point on the screen, which obviously provides you a ton of customization and freedom. But all that customization does create a little more difficulty than some of the more structured editors. So for Wix, just be prepared to work through some of those kinks that will come from the customization. And one example of that could be making sure that it looks great on mobile as well as desktop, because that may not always be the case with all this freedom that you have. But for those that are looking for that and still a true website builder, Wix is a fantastic choice. They also have one of the widest feature sets of any website builders out there, allowing you to integrate almost anything that you could want directly into your website. And lastly, there's an extensive library of themes out there for Wix websites, but they do have varying levels of quality. Some will be slick and look great, and some will be very outdated and ones you definitely don't want to use. So who is Wix best fit for? Wix is best for somebody who wants an easy website builder, but also wants a ton of customization, and they're willing to work through the extra kinks that that may create. Second on our list is Squarespace. Squarespace, and it's another huge name within the space for very good reason, Squarespace is awesome. It's our go-to recommendation for most people out there. And that comes down to its ease of use, its features, and honestly, just how good all their websites really look. It often gets called the Apple of website builders because it is just so clean and easy to use. Squarespace operates off of templates and there are a ton of templates to work from and they're all super easy to use and look amazing. And when working with a template, all you have to do is add and remove sections as well as individual elements to customize it to your content. And Squarespace does also have a ton of different features built into their website builder, including blogging, e-commerce, appointment scheduling, and a bunch more. And even though these templates are pretty uniform, you can completely customize the colors of everything so that it fits your brand. And these templates also make sure that your website will look awesome on mobile as well as desktop. So Squarespace is best for most people, honestly. The majority of people that come to us asking what website they should use, we usually say Squarespace. So unless something from the other options really jumps out at you and perfectly fits your situation, Squarespace is probably the one you should go with. Third on our list is the simplest and easy to use for a very specific use case, and that is GoDaddy. So GoDaddy does a lot, and I'm sure a ton of you out there didn't even know that they had a website builder, but they do, and it's extremely easy to use. And we would argue it's the easiest website builder to use out of any of the options out there. Literally in under 20 minutes, you can start the entire process of building a website and get it live. But with that, it's also an extremely simple tool. So we only recommend it for people who are looking to build a basic website and really just a one page website. So if you're looking for a landing page or a one page website, just to have some sort of presence, GoDaddy could be a fantastic fantastic option to get it done really quickly. And maybe something you wanna use in the short term and then level up to one of these other options later once you've thought through what you're actually looking for. But if you just want a simple web presence that's super easy to get up and live, GoDaddy is a fantastic choice. So GoDaddy is best for fast and simple one page websites. Next on our list is Webflow. And although all of the options that we've included are fairly easy to use, this one's probably the most difficult, but it's also the most powerful. So unlike the other options that we've covered, you're not really working from themes within Webflow. You can really create basically anything you could think of. Webflow gives you the flexibility of what could be done when fully coding out a website without having to learn code. So it's a lot more sophisticated than the ones we've covered to this point. And because it's so sophisticated, it will definitely help if you understand the basics of web design here, because you can really build anything and bring anything to life within Webflow. So understanding what you're even looking for and what you want to build will certainly help a lot because this tool is quite powerful. And there are examples all across the internet of those who have used Webflow to recreate websites that were designed by a full design team that were fully coded and customized. So that just speaks to how powerful this tool truly is. You can do some crazy awesome things with this tool, but it's definitely not the most user friendly if you're new to building websites. But if you are willing to learn and put in the time, you can build basically anything. So Webflow is best for someone who wants a ton of customization and freedom and really wants to bring their vision into reality without having to learn specific code. And number five on our list is Shopify, a name I'm sure that you've heard before, and it's because they're really good at what they do. And what they do is e-commerce. They are the true kings and queens of e-commerce. So if you're looking to build an e-commerce store or sell something 
shopping online, our biggest recommendation here is Shopify. So unlike some of the other options on our list, Shopify isn't a drag and drop website builder. So there's definitely a lot more of a learning curve. It's not as visual of a building experience and it's definitely not drag and drop. You will have to put a little more time into learning how to build this out, but there is a ton of sophistication and customization that Shopify allows for e-commerce. And it achieves so much of that through apps. There is an extensive library of Shopify apps that can really work in any kind of feature that you could want within your e-commerce website. And because you build on your website through the integration of apps, Shopify doesn't make it too difficult from the start because you only really have to learn how to use the apps that you actually want to use. And that makes sense for your situation versus some other e-commerce tools that build all of it right into their product, making the whole thing far more overwhelming than it needs to be. So although Shopify is not the easiest option to use within our list, it's definitely the most sophisticated e-commerce option that is also approachable for someone who's brand new to this. And because so many e-commerce businesses and shops are using Shopify, the app library keeps getting better and better because there's a demand for it. And Shopify themselves are always innovating their product by including new things to build into the website experience, like Shopify payments, as well as fulfillments, and even Shopify augmented reality, which allows shoppers to actually see images and products in augmented reality, which is pretty cool. So Shopify is best fit for online store builders and those looking to do e-commerce. Really, they're the best in the space. So if you're looking to do that, this would be an obvious choice for you. Those are our top five, and you really can't go wrong with any of them as long as your situation fits what you can get from each of these tools. And I'm sure you watching this knew exactly the right choice for you once you heard about it. So if you do want to try that out for yourself, there are links to all of them down below. Those links are affiliate links. So if you do go ahead and use them, we may earn a small commission at no extra expense to you. So we thank you in advance. It allows us to make more videos like this to help you pick the right tools online. So I hope this list was helpful and I hope that it helped you in making the right choice for your website. Let us know the option that you're going to go with in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials of the best online tools out there so that you find the best software to help bring your dream brand and business to life. Happy website building and I'll see you in the next one.